Hello again YouTube, Marty, with No Man's Sky Expedition 10. So it's looking a little better right now. Um, yep, okay, let's boost this up to at least like that. And, um... Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> okay. So, don't know what happened there. Screen was really, really messed up there. So, um, yeah, we'll um, we'll take it from here. We'll take it from the top. And um, w this is basically what you see when you start your uh, your game. For those uh, uninitiated. Uh, this is what you see, except for the uh, the scrolling uh, uh, like, comment, and subscribe on top there. Uh, that's my own uh, that's my own uh, concoction there. But um, I'm gonna turn that off so we can uh, get on with the business of the game here. And um, yeah, so uh, last night we hit a hundred subscribers. Uh, that was awesome. Um, not sure uh, how we got to this point, but uh, we're just going to keep having fun here, streaming uh, a number of games on YouTube, and um, just, you know, have fun. Have fun with it. Uh, chill streams, and um, yeah. So um, let's let's get into it then. So if you've played No Man's Sky and you've played more than one playthrough, they're all showing up here. What we're going to do is we're going to start a new game. The expedition is now showing up on the right side of the panel here on top. Uh, four weeks remaining. So that's because one of the weeks has already gone by. And, um, yeah. So, hey, Marty. Chalk and all. Hey. Cork. Yeah, that's a big number, I guess, eh? The first, the first big number, I guess, right? All right, so um, let's get to it. Expedition 10. I know a lot of people have already uh, have already started this. I've I've got a playthrough in uh, myself, uh, right up to the um, the uh, community challenge in in phase five that seems to be blocking everybody. So I'm not sure if that's unblocked yet or not. I think it was like 65% uh, unblocked this afternoon, so it's probably still blocked. We're we're not likely to get to that point this evening. Uh, I'll be thankful if I can get um, halfway into uh, phase three. That that will be uh, awesome, actually. Yeah, so I had a bit of a technical issue there at the uh, start of the stream. So uh, I'm about five minutes behind here, but uh, that's all good. I had to I had to actually restart my computer. And no clue what happened. I hope it doesn't happen again because that was that just went sideways there for a minute. <laughs> Funny, this is the newest computer in the house too, and uh, I mean it's not top of the line, but it's uh, it's it's okay for sure. That's what I wanted to do, so uh, we're all good, right? All right, so uh, expedition ten, yeah. Pretty much all about the uh, the new Sentinel update that came out a little while back. And there it is, right? First contact, planet A. Hey, fifteen. Ah, hey. All right, so uh, first thing I want to do before I do anything else is um, make sure I get into first person because I, I don't do very well in third person. And okay, so we got wheelbarrows full of this crap here. Scrap, sorry. <laughs> it's not crap, it's scrap. And um, let's just get inside here for a second. Are we in? Yeah, there's there's no real uh, there's no real hazard on this planet by the looks of things. I'm gonna go ahead and scan stuff because um, I really would like to get um, a bit of a head start on the nanites if I can. And uh, the fact that there's no appreciable uh, hazards on the planet is a 
is, is awesome. So here it is. Here's Expedition 10, and uh, we are doing Phase 1. Let's see. The objective is to explore the abandoned camp. Okay, so um, in the log you will find the specifics. Um, you get a reward of a hermetic seal, which will help you... Uh, excuse me. Help you get your ship going. The plans for the hermetic seal, anyway. Crystallized heart. Uh, I think you may need that for later. I'm... Okay, my memory is uh, failing me yet again. The scrappers hastily fled camp. There's an harmonic lockdown. Who was here before? Where they gone? Investigate camp. Search for answers. Okay, so uh, I guess the first thing uh, we're gonna look at the autophage here. See what's going on here. Flickers, uh, dying sparks, light up its eyes, whatever information was preserved to the circuits is buried beneath countless layers of corruption. So we need to um, need to figure out what these numbers here mean. Uh, 11, 1, and 7. Okay, so we're going to plug these into... Uh, the, we're going to attempt a memory repair. 11, 1... I hope, I hope I got that right. Oh, 11, 1, and 7. Yeah, it looks like I did. Yeah, a faint hiss escapes the autophage's rusty shell. Smoke and data vent together, lost to the wind. Dump the memory contents. Arose from the dirt, a construct of pure will. Finalized a download, complete memory dump. Creating a copy of whatever data still flits around this hastily abandoned scrap. The download completed section of data is flagged by my exosuit as readable navigation coordinates. And there it is. Spoke with the autophage. That is milestone number one. We will grab the hermetic seal plans. And the crystallized heart. Okay, there you go. Plans for hermetic seal. We need condensed carbon to make a hermetic seal. Gotta keep that in mind. Um, pretty sure we have some equipment already. Yeah, okay, so we have a personal refiner, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and we also have uh, some uh, some upgrades already. Let's see, let's um, let's put this here. This is not in a supercharged thing. Okay, let's go like this. Our life support and our hazard protection in the supercharged slots. Uh, we got our um, jetpack items bumping each other up and uh, we got this suspicious thing and I'm not sure what that is cyclotron ballista upgrade x-class upgrade that's for the ship I don't know if we're going to be using that or not of course we got the save point there which we can use at any time there's our ship it's a solar I think everybody starts with a solar in this uh, event so that's kind of cool. We also have a terrain manipulator. We have, of course, the analysis. Let me put this down here. Analysis visor and the scanner, right? So uh, that's going to be getting upgraded bit by bit. Um, so we'll just continue investigating here. Grabbing the harmonic scrap from uh, these wheelbarrows. Uh, okay, so we have a harmonic interface. Okay, the sentient echoes term coordinates require starship travel. Complete the Wayfarer milestone to proceed. So the Wayfarer milestone is this guy. Uh, enter into space. Search for clues. Uh, select the milestones, continue the investigation, complete the Wayfarer's milestone to learn more about the abandoned camp. Oh, okay, but the Wayfarer's milestone requires that we go into space. Look at your starship compass analysis visor, obtain specific repair guidance by pinning components and technologies. Right, so that's kind of standard fare for the beginning of a playthrough. You gotta fix your ship and Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what we're going to do, because we've uh, been privy to the uh, the um, the ins and outs of this Sentinel playthrough for some time now, um, 
gonna see if we can uh, gather some uh, materials here. So two minus one is one, five plus one is six, 20 minus eight is 12. So one, six, and 12 are what the numbers we're looking at. And let's input those. One, six, and 12. That's gonna do a few things for it. It's gonna allow us to locate a sentinel interceptor. Uh, so that will be a, uh, probably a pretty big deal early in the game because uh, sentinel interceptors are uh, extremely um, expensive, or at least they were, they have been up until now. I don't know if the update at lunchtime today has done anything to assuage that or not, but uh, let's see. Okay, Dissonant Spike has been located to the multi-tool. So there's a box over here with a, with a multi-tool in it. And uh, we just disabled the seal on that. So we can actually grab this thing. It's an A-class multi-tool with a bolt caster. So we're going to grab this for sure. Um, over the, uh, over the, uh, sequence of, sequences of the expedition here, we will, um, we will probably be cleaning this up a little bit. Um, but yeah, right off the top here, um, we probably got some pretty good, uh, stats off this thing. Now, okay, so first off... Let's check our other multi-tool. That's this guy. It's a C-class. I think the only thing that's not in the other one is this thing here. Terrain manipulator. Analysis visor scanner and mining device. I'm pretty sure we already have on this guy. Uh, analysis visor scanner. And the, the mining tool on this thing is the, uh, the hijacked laser. So, um, yeah, that's, let's, let's just put these two things together. They'll bump each other up a little bit. The, uh, personal force field we can put over here for now. And, uh, we will deal with the rest of this. This might be our go-to, um, oh, wow. Our ship is down there, right? Eh? Okay. So we need to, um, we need to gather a few materials fix our ship namely um yeah so the hermetic seal that means it's carbon uh ferrite uh, fe uh sorry ferrite dust for the metal plating pure ferrite and some dihydrogen for the dihydrogen jelly so let's uh, let's make our way down here and see uh we have any other uh creatures we can scan and yes we do there's another flying one there. Just going to take a quick look. and s Okay, so we got three out of the five. And the other two are underwater. So um, there's probably, yeah, there's probably some water down here. But doesn't look like there's a lot. Um, okay, we do not have, I don't think we have the advanced mining. Oh, yes, we do. Look at that. Huh, I'll be damned. So we don't have any wiring looms just yet. So we're gonna have to, um, uh, we're gonna have to play that one by ear. Uh, let me just get up my other multi-tool because I'm gonna get something out of that. The, um, yeah, this thing here. Let's just put that here for a moment. And we can flick back over to this guy and install that. So now we have that. We don't have anything to put in it just yet. Okay, so it looks like we're going for a bit of a slide down the hill here. That's all good. Up in charge depleted. Okay, now I should be able to hijack laser. Carbon. Okay, so I can scan that. Did I not just scan that? I guess you gotta finish it all the way, or else it uh, it won't get credit for the scan, right? 
you can move your scanner off the target, but you need to finish it. You need to finish your scan. <clears throat> Pardon me. So these little purple uh, crystals we also need. Ferrite dust in these rocks we will need. As well grab a bunch of that. So the uh, the pinkish kind of uh, mushrooms here, those are essential as well. As you can see, they contain carbon. And basically what we're doing is, um, these rocks also have uh, dihydrogen, which is very interesting. Because we need dihydrogen too, right? To fix part of our uh, pulse engine, I think it is. Uh, Pulse engine or, or launch thrust or one or the other. So the blue crystals down on the right, down in the little pocket down there, those are dihydrogen. We're gonna uh, uh, actually gonna go down and grab as much of those as we can. Okay, so this is not identified. Some things look very similar and uh, are not necessarily the same thing. So, uh, anything that's unidentified, you should probably consider scanning. It's not going to give you much uh, early in the game, but um, it'll give you something. So, uh, yeah, go for it, right? Now, I want at least 100 ferrite dust. 50 to refine into pure ferrite. Oh, that one wasn't uh, one of these things. Wasn't uh, scanned. Oh, another one that's not scanned. Okay. I think that one with the blue crystals on it is not scanned either. Oh, maybe it is. Alright. All good. Okay. Let's just grab that. It's got the hydrogen in it. Okay. Thanks for joining the stream, by the way, Shocking up. Welcome aboard. Hope you're having a great day. On this Tuesday. So we got all kinds of this uh, little purple, pinkish purple lavender, I, I don't know, it's crystal here. Let me just pick this up along the way here, a little more ferrite dust. We're probably going to run out of carbon here in a second. I think we've picked up enough to do a full recharge, but we'll see. This is a uh, standard normal playthrough, as far as I'm aware. So, um, I suspect that our inventory is not restricted in any way, as they are in survival and permadeath playthroughs. bit quicker with the jetpack but um okay so hang on now i said i needed i'm gonna have to get this out of here because uh i need to install this for sure i said i needed two wiring looms right yeah i don't want to uninstall anything to get wiring looms because um you know the more stuff more capabilities you have early in the game, I think the better off you are, potentially at least. Okay, so we do have some condensed carbon. Um, that's for the hermetic seal. We need 30. We have enough to make, it's, it takes two carbon 
and make a condensed carbon. So we'll just, oh, we need to charge this up first. Okay. So we'll have our condensed carbon. We can make our metal plating. So we'll have those two things shortly. Dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite. I think we, yeah, we have enough, uh, we have enough dihydrogen to make a dihydrogen jelly. Scan this big mushroom here. Then we can harvest it. Now we do, we do have, um, we did have enough, uh, we did gather enough materials to, um, oh look we had a land of pilot. Dang, missed it. I guess it doesn't really matter though because we don't really have any business to conduct with a landed pilot at this stage of the game. It's got, there we go, weapon charge depleted, okay. As I suspected. So 100% there. Um, I don't want to charge that just yet. If I need to dig a hole for any reason, uh, or mine some items, which I will have to. Let's see, mm. let's, let's just have a look around. Copper, that's extremely useful early in the game. Uh, what do we got down there? We got some shelters. Paraffinium. Paraffinium is okay if you're going to be um, repairing uh, crashed starships. Some of the uh, some of the damage can be repaired with paraffinium, or at least uh, partly repaired paraffinium. So uh, to keep in mind. Okay, I'm just going to gather a bit more of this because I know I can charge my. Uh, my uh, terrain manipulator with it. What do we got in here? More of this stuff. First playthrough. No, it's, uh, this is my third actually. I started one yesterday on Twitch. Got about halfway through in about three hours. Uh, I started one uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday, shortly after it came out. Uh, I'm I'm done that up until the uh, the blockage there. I'm guessing everybody's blocked at uh, the third milestone in phase five. Is that still the case? You know? Okay, now we charge our terrain manipulator a little bit. I'm gonna go halfway for now. And I'm gonna dig out um, this copper. As far as I know, it's still blocked. Yeah, it's uh, there. I think they're kind of calling it a um, a, a community um, kind of milestone, right? I I don't know if I agree with that, but it is what it is. So that's all I'm waiting on. Yeah. So the the last two or three milestones are uh, dependent on that, from what I could tell. Uh, you need to uh, you need to unlock that one before the other ones will uh, will uh, decrypt, as it were. I think that's what's going on there. The last two or three are encrypted, but of course you need you need number three to uh, to move on. It's all good. We're uh, you know we got other things to do, so let's do those other things in the meantime, huh? And, um, yeah, just be patient and uh, see how it goes, right? Okay, so we got a bit of copper. I'm not really sure how much. Um, here's some more condensed carbon. Okay, so we should have a stack here, which will allow us to make the hermetic seal. And... Okay, so we need we need pure ferrite. Let's uh, let's make that before we head down. That way, by the time we get to our ship, uh, that will be done. Now, I 
this is um yeah this stuff here is radiant shards i need the advanced mining laser for that i do not have any um i do not have any what the heck is this where oh my ship's over there what's this oh that's um i think they those are um Lots more dihydrogen. Those look like uh, dissonant. Uh, what are they calling them? Harmonic scrap. Okay. Well, you know something that might provide the necessary uh, materials to get um, to get wiring looms. We'll check it out in a second. Get some more carbon here. Just gonna check. Just gonna check and see how much I got. Almost a thousand, eh? Yeah, that's not bad. Projectile ammunition for our bolt caster. You know what? I'm gonna make some more of that. Just in case we get into a scuffle. Um, yeah, so this is already done. So, okay. Where is it? Over here. So now we got everything we need to fix our ship. Go down and see what this uh, harmonic scrap is all about here. Sometimes you can get some pretty decent stuff out of these things. So we're going to check it out. Uh, yeah, reconstructed unit. Uh, that's not very useful. Okay, so there's Go also... Grab dinner. I will catch you later waving hand sign. Alright, Shakana. Thanks for popping in, guy. Thanks for dropping a like there. And yeah, bon appétit. Uh... Okay, so... Autophage. This stuff is completely... Mm -hmm. Totally useless to me, anyway. And this stuff... Oh, no. Looks like we're not getting any more than that out of it. Okay, maybe next time we'll get something a little better. All good, it's all good. I suppose another dig at it will uh, make any difference, eh? No, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's cruise over to our ship. Over here somewhere. Fix that up and get off the ground. Get um, get milestone number two out of the way. I think it did it say something about leaving the planet. I think it may have. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll have a look for sure before we go anywhere. We're going to gather all the materials that we can. Uh, hopefully, gather the materials that we can use down here. Uh, what we might. What we are likely to do is um, go over and fetch that uh, interceptor that we've located uh, over there, right? Dissonant Spike. Pretty sure that's the location of a uh, crashed Sentinel interceptor. Now, the good thing about the in crashed interceptors, of course, is there's no damage. They're crashed, but they're uh, intact. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, let's just bring that on board just to, uh, in case we need to make some ferrite dust or something. Okay, so that's that. There is also, there should, it's quite likely every technology around here somewhere, which probably has like, uh, um, Data, very expensive data. Let's see, where is it? Gravitino there, that's quite expensive too, but dangerous to try and, uh, and grab. Uh, don't tell me there's none around here. There's usually... 
where you have... Oh, wait a second. Okay. I was going to say where you have damaged machinery, you usually have salvage data, but... Um, I don't see... Okay, let's, uh, let's go down here and uh, bother this guy. How far is he? Or a closer one. Damage machinery around here. Strange. Lots of these bases, though. That's just a nuisance. Uh, it is what it is. Okay, let's go over and fix our shit. Uh, we don't really have. You know what? I was gonna say we don't really have to get inside to do that, but uh, if you don't get inside, you don't get this little. Uh, this little. Uh, Interaction, right? Okay, so critically damaged. We got everything to fix that. We got everything to fix that. So now we are good to go. Um, I'm going to put the shield on the um, supercharged slot because, well, because I can and because I find that that's probably the most important thing I want to um, have boosted. So we're going to look for a planet with uranium, one with pyrite, and of course the sodium we can get around here. Now our ship is now fixed. Um, however, I would really like to uh, grab that uh, interceptor that's over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, or at least try, to take the uh, inverted mirror from this resonator. And uh, what I need to do is get as close as possible. Now, okay, so hijack laser. Get rid of this thing. That's not what we're trying to get rid of. This is what we're trying to get rid of here. I'm going to grab some oxygen out of this thing. And... Now, he's got a pretty hefty sentinel over there protecting him. So, what we need to do is we need to sneak up on him. Sort of. And we need to get a hole dug where we will um, hide once we once we um, we take it down right so we're gonna go in here and then perhaps we'll dig towards my starship and we'll see how that goes if that's not good enough then maybe we can think of something else but first, oh, damn, he's right there. Hey, okay, so that's not good. Why is he right there? It's like anticipating I'm going to make a move here or something. I don't know. Yeah, he needs to move on. I'm probably not going to zip right through there. We have a storm. Hang on, I see something over there. I see damaged machinery. I'm going to go over there and check that out. Damage machinery could uh, mean the difference between having a uh, 
advanced mining laser and not having one. You could potentially get a um, an upgrade on this thing. Check it out. Get an upgrade. Um, see what it is. And we don't. It's nanites. So. This is the planet that has the uh, anti-gravity storms. Those are really cool. Okay. What is up with this guy? I think that's our hole there. He's, uh, I had a funny feeling he's going to be relentless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig into going to dig into the mountain, the side of the hill that's over here. Well, yes. Yes, I need to recharge this first. Yeah, that's not helpful. the idea is going to be not to panic not to panic when we come through here saying the first left the, the first left right here and just keep going so here goes nothing mirror. These guys are hunting. We're just going to let that swarm subside. Just like that. We're going to get the terrain manipulator out and kind of dig up and get out of here. Okay. Now we can go back to our ship. As long as you let the swarm subside, you should be fine. If you engage with the swarm though, all bets are off. Oh, hang on now. Let's get that laser out. Alright. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go over and... Uh, so one of the first things I like to do when I get in my ship is change the point of view because even though I can, well, I much prefer walking around a character in first person, I prefer flying in third person. Except when I'm doing some precision shooting. And uh, you might get a look at that. Okay, so let's, let's just get over there. I think it's right over here on the uh, side of the hill. Is the, um, the interceptor's location. We'll try to... Um, try to grab that. Hopefully nobody has... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's there. Okay, that's good. So we'll just, uh, we'll just have a peek and see what it is that we're looking at. It's a C-Class... Uh, 57 million units. That's pretty hefty. Uh, we're gonna check out the uh, recycled unit here. 
Pugnium is going to be useful for the launch thruster on this ship. Let's put that right there. Okay, there's some little bit of interaction there. We don't have any Atlantidium defeated, so just got to skip that, or at least we don't have enough. This is going in our exosuit. That's going in the ship. This is going in our exosuit. And... Harvest Radiant Shard completed pilot interface. Okay, so we do need... Um, we do need Radiant Shards to, um, to get this thing um, off the ground. So let's see, we need the advanced mining beam. Carbon nanotube and hermetic seal is not a big deal to make. Hermetic seal and the carbon nanotube. It's the uh, it's the two antimatter and sodium nitrate. It's the two uh, wiring looms that are particularly uh, bothersome. I really don't want to uh, take apart any. Um, I have, I don't even know if I have anything to take apart that would, uh, oh yeah, here's one, C-class, well that'll give me one, it's a C-class, so I'm not overly concerned about that, uh, and here's the other one, a personal uh, force field, okay, so we can actually make the wiring, the advanced mining laser now, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for Okay, so this isn't helping right now because it's not, it's not next to it as it's such. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this here and put this around here like that. That's going to be all good. Now we need to find... Okay, so there should be some radiant shards just down here. There's also a number of other things. We're not going to grab too much of this. We don't want to suffocate our inventory with rusted metal. We do want to grab this. Let's see, hijacked laser. We do want to grab this stuff. Salvage data. Um, and I think... Yeah, it's a radiant shard right here. There goes my doorbell, and here's another uh, piece of damaged machinery. Like I said, every now and then you're going to get a, uh, an upgrade out of one of these things, which is uh, can be very useful. The Atlantidium, of course, comes in handy. We can certainly harvest uh, several hundred of those and be in good shape. Yeah. Where is... Did I miss the... Uh, did I get the salvage data off this thing? Or did I miss it? A lot of stuff here, right? You know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Go back to my my analysis mode and see if I can spot the salvage data. I'm not even sure I found the salvage data for this particular unit. There's one down there, but that's not for this unit. machinery there and that's way over there oh. okay 
so there's more radiant shards up here if you're lucky you'll get uh, you'll get those in clusters so um, Anytime you can get these things in clusters, you're, uh, you're headed in the right direction, I figure. Yeah, so we have some stalagmites, stalactites, some plants in here that we can also scan. Again, early game, um, not really of any great benefit scanning items because you're not getting a whole lot of income. As far as as far as the fauna, the creatures are concerned, you are absolutely um, best off scanning those as much of that as possible. And we got some more. Uh, oh, more loot. You'll get some stuff out of here too. Rusted metal is not all you get out of this thing. See, microprocessors come in handy, right? That's building materials or fixing, whatever you want to call it. Ship is over this way. Okay. Okay, now we got the sentinels coming out at us. And that's a nice looking ship there, I think. Charge depleted. Thank you for telling me that. Lots of carbon going on, so we'll go ahead and replenish with that. And can we do the? Yes, we can. Okay, that's hyaline or hyaline brain, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, you need to probe the subconscious. What that does is it leads you to a monolith where you're going to get this thing fixed and bring it back to the ship and then you can just um, uh, claim the ship and take off. There's nothing... This is... I, I was saying earlier, there's nothing broken on it, but yeah, this is the only thing that's broken on the ship. It's brain. It's a broken brain. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and... Um, okay, I just noticed we have no launch thruster fuel left. Well, that's um, kind of a catastrophe. Let's see, can we make some uh, metal plating? Yeah, we can make one for sure. Well, let's go ahead and make one. That over here. Okay, that's good. That's awesome. Now the monolith should be just around the corner here. Right there. It's not seated on the ground yet. It's going to seat itself on the ground. There it is. Okay. I'm just going to land next to the monolith and um, up and interact with it. You see, these mountains are so high that the, uh, the solar vessel deployed its sails. Um, it's really not my favorite kind of planet, but it is what it is. Present the brain. It's going to give us back a fixed one, a harmonic brain, and of course at that point we can go back and fix that ship. So this is the first knowledge stone we attack, uh, we interact with I should say, and we're going to learn the Corvax word for Corvax, of course. Let me go over here and learn Corvax word for Traveler, and I skip this one so I'm going to... Corvax word for entity. Now we go back to the ship, claim the ship, and off we go. More than likely with that ship, because uh, that, even though it's it is also a C class, I have to think it's better than this thing. Although let's see, does this thing have? Yeah, this thing does not have those sails the uh, technology that allows to uh, recharge the uh, 
I think it might even be the launch thrusters, so um, there's no great advantage to having this ship at this point, I, I'm guessing. Um, we should almost go and um, go to the space station and sell this solar. Because this, uh, this interceptor is a better ship, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to claim... You know what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to sell the, uh, the Interceptor to get a few bucks. Not that we need them. Because uh, it is it is a... Um, it is an expedition, so... You know, most, most of the things you need for the expedition are provided by the expedition. So, let's see... What's on what's on the log here? Launch into space for the first time. Okay, that's our first order of business. We'll figure out if we're uh, which ship we're scrapping shortly. We'll do this first. your starship into space. Hey Marty, I'm splitting my attention between and a few other streams at the moment, but wanted to share some up with one of my favorite Sifi streamers. Alrighty, Rob, welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard, sir. Thanks for that, and uh, thanks for the like. Thanks for the love. Appreciate it, for sure. Uh, hope everything is well with you and yours. Yep, so we're, uh, we, em we have embarked on Expedition 10, uh, Singularity. So, uh, let's see, we've got another milestone accomplished here. Up and off into space. Hypercore, teleport receiver. Okay, so that's not bad. Good thing about the, the hypercores is that they will go into either this ship or the other ship that we just grabbed. So, uh, can we make this? Not yet, eh? We have, we actually have the, oh, we do have the antimatter recipe, or blueprint. Tele oh, wait, 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 we don't need to make it, because it, it was given to us. Huh, even better. Um, yeah, okay, so, let's see, got one of these. What's next on the agenda? Follow the sentience, echoes, coordinates. Eban and scrapping camp yielded a set of navigation coordinates when probed. Follow the coordinates and investigate their location. Uh, did I not already do that? Where are the coordinates? Okay, so here's a here's a major pain that <laughs> people talk about a lot. See all the icons on the compass on the top of the screen. That's um, it's all the nonsense of people making camps on these on these um, on these build on these um, these um, expedition uh, waypoint planets. Oh, we do have a we do have a waypoint over here. So sentience echo coordinates. We have more than one dissonant planet in this system. That's the one I was just on, I think, is the only one, but this is not this is not an encampment. Are those solar sails? They are. This is actually a solar class vessel. Came out a little while back. One of the uh, one of the updates. Um, yeah, so you have all kinds of different shapes and sizes, right? And classes, of course, because this is an expedition. Of course, they give you, uh, you know, C class, you know, entry level kind of ship. So 
Uh, it's up to you if you want to kind of improve that or not. Uh, I've already taken a step to improve it, I know that, because um, we already found a, sent a crashed Sentinel interceptor. Now, okay, so there is an archive. I'm just going to kind of hover, or at least uh, fly over this waypoint here. It says I should land. There's the archive. And the pads are on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hopefully... Um, I'm going to land on the pad because it's a free landing zone. Rather than landing on the planet and know costing me uh, launch fuel so I'm pretty sure that uh, maybe it did cost me something uh, what else is landing here little tiny shuttles well that is that another player oh see there's a bigger shuttle it's still a c-class though all right so we're looking for sentience echo coordinates locked in Okay, so target in range. Oh yeah, I remember now. It's up here at the uh, on, at the terminal. So we'll go up here and we'll uh, we'll do our next little phase of the uh, expedition. Get in here. You hear us? Do you hear me? Consumed all of creation and. Blah, blah, blah. One blueprint from an infinite number, one blueprint from all the ways to be. One construct. Extract the blueprint. I think we're going to get a piece of something here. A yeah. construct head. So metal plating. We need to build this thing, I'm pretty sure. There's a milestone. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that. I'm going to get some metal plating here. How much money do we have? Ooh, I don't even know. Yeah, we can afford one. Okay, which means we can afford to make our construct head. Did we not just buy a metal plating? Yeah, there it is. Oh, we need four. Okay, so let's get three more. Now we can make our little uh, gadget. Go, go, gadget. Constructed. <laughs> All right. We did also get the hazmat gauntlet. I think. Let me just uh, go over here. Yeah, crafted the construct's head. Okay. Um, toxic. Okay, so we are on a toxic planet here. The previous planet was uh, lush. Which means no no initial hazards so here let's see uh, reward construct head nanites band has protection upgrade okay so let's grab those and there's the construct head yeah we built that already and for building that we also get supreme scanning system upgrade repackaged advanced mining laser so we didn't actually have to build that earlier um, but the reason we built it was to get the, um, the wherewithal to grab that interceptor, right? That sentinel interceptor that we can now do what we want with really, right? We can sell it or whatever, right? So yeah, the advanced mining laser we already have here. So we're going to sell that back. I think if we can sell it back at the, um, at the space station. Now the uh, scanner here, let's see, what is this? Okay, flora, mineral, and mana. So our, we've only got one supercharged slot here. I want to keep the bolt caster in it for now. But it might be a good idea to put the, uh, the upgrade in it to, to boost up the stats, these stats that you see down in the box here. Um, okay, so here we got some upgrades for the hazard protection. 4, 3, 2, and 10. 10 heat resistance is good. 
the other three are meh, so so. Meh. <laughs> meh. Okay, so we got a microprocessor. Okay. I'm gonna junk this. That's for sale. Alright, so what's next on our agenda? Commune with the Atlas. Okay, so that means a little trip into space. Okay, let's, um... Did we, did we fuel our hyperdrive? No, we did not. Okay, so let's do that now. And... Then we can go ahead and commune with the Atlas. Basically, what we're going to be doing is opening up our galactic map and, um... Cool animation, though, eh? Open up the galactic map and just uh, kind of look for the atlas here. Um, uh, there it is there. We can't make it in one hop, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over to the space station and just have a look and see if there's any hyperdrive uh, upgrades. Wrong button, Marty. Wrong button. Come on. Smarten up, man. Smarten up. Now, 477. Uh, you know what? Mm, no. Uh, it's the frozen one. That's not it. We gotta go back and... We gotta go back and dig out those last two creatures on the first planet we were on. I think it's that one there. Minemo Alpha, so is that the one? Should be this one, A15. So that's not it. Oh, that's not the name of the planet. That's the name of Buddy's base. See, that's at peeve, right? Stop putting, it shouldn't be allowed. End of story. Shouldn't be allowed to put a base anywhere in the initial system. This is the planet we're looking for, actually. But when you look at it this way, you see now it shows. Hey, hey, 15, tropical planet, blah, blah, blah. We should get those two creatures, two water, underwater creatures, because um, basically what that's going to allow us to do is pick up these nanites here, which will in turn allow us to pick up an upgrade or two at the space station. Now, it could be argued that the um, the expedition will provide, but um, I'm guessing a lot of people are kind of uh, impatient. <laughs> you don't want to go uh, two and three hops. So I got stopped there. And I don't have anything to fuel my pulse engine. Uh, okay, so what does this guy want? Oh, shit! Why does it do that? I don't understand why it does that. I don't have any money either. I don't understand why it does that. It takes a shot at him. Instead of... Instead of... Uh, instead of engaging with the... Um, see, that, that, that's a bug, I think. That, that, it shouldn't happen that way. When you get into the, uh, the interaction with the other pilot... You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to just shoot at his ship like I did. Because now he's going to be relentlessly pursuing me, right? And uh, I'm going to have to take him out, probably. And then there's going to be interceptors coming, and it's just going to be a shit show, right? So, basically, I'm just hoping he'll run away or he'll go away because... Um, weapon system overheated, eh? Yeah, I got no choice but to just uh, try to pummel some uh, some asteroids here because I don't have any fuel and the fuel comes from the asteroids so uh, let's just have a look here Did I get enough? Oh yeah Now you see local enemy disruption that means that I can't um, I can't engage my pulse engine to get away from this guy so I, I'm just gonna 
do this. There's nothing else I can do. I, I have no intention of engaging him. I didn't have any intention of engaging him. And somehow when I interacted with, with him, because that's what it does, right? If you have a, a, a chance meeting in space, um, you know, there's, there's, a, uh, there's a hail coming in, right? So the way to answer the hail, well, I guess I, I should have answered the hail with my X key. So this guy right here, that might have, um, that might have averted this whole thing. I, I just have a nasty habit of pushing mouse buttons, right? And pressing the wrong keys and stuff. So my bad, I guess. Hopefully I can make it here before uh, he ends me. It's not doing a whole lot of damage. I know it says nine minutes there, but I'm just hoping I'm with any luck at all I can outrun him. Okay, so this is really, really not the way I anticipated starting this. This is how my uh, this is how my uh, my my fugitive playthrough ended on Saturday evening. Same exact thing. I shot I shot a pilot that was trying to transact with me instead of uh, answering his hail. I pushed a mouse button instead of a key on my keyboard, and uh, is it? That's what happens. Okay, I got I gotta I gotta try to get him out because. If I don't, um, hopefully there won't be interceptors coming in. Can you please, please, please? Hello, hello, hello. Why am I not going into pulse? Okay, thank you, thank you. Usually what happens in a situation like that is, um, from what I've, my experience anyway, um, Sentinel Interceptors get called in, but I guess they didn't this time, fortunately. Oh, I really have to try not to be pressing mouse buttons just randomly. <laughs> it's just not a good idea. Okay, anyway. So here, I'm going to put this thing down here. I'm going to check out my shields are recharging themselves. That's good. Back down to 50% on the launch thruster. I'm going to let that burn all the way down. I do have two items, underwater items, that I want to hopefully grab out of here. Oh, here we go. We're going to scan a few things. Here's one right there. That guy. This is probably the other guy here. Indeed it is. We're done. Just like that. Bada boom, bada bing. Right now. Oh, I did get it all. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's all I wanted to come here for. <laughs> Almost got burned for it too. Oh well. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is um, I am going to sell that interceptor. That's what I'm going to do. What does it have? It has basically much of the same stuff I just had there. I'm going to sell this interceptor. These things have, some of these guys have pretty cool animations too. Well, off we go back to the uh, space station where I was headed to a minute ago for the upgrades. Um, so what I'm trying to do is get to the space station. And I have a funny feeling that my navigation system is going to take me to that guy's base. That purple diamond there. The sort of dome or igloo kind of shaped thing.
Yeah, so let's see. Where are we on this uh, expedition? We are... We are well into phase one. We should be closing in phase one in the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes. So, hour and a half, phase one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much time. I'm, I'm sure we'll find another interceptor if we need it. We did not need this ship. We did not. This is not part of the expedition. The only reason I'm getting this is um, what a money. Actually, you know what? Should dismantle as much of this as possible for the uh, parts. It's not this. Obviously, didn't give us a whole lot of parts, but well, it's not a bad thing. This is what it is. So uh, let's go and see what it's going to give us over here. Where we sh coming into the space station is not even part of the uh, of the expedition. We're asked to go to the Atlas, and um, the Atlas uh, is in another star system. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm just um, kind of bolstering up my. Um, my outfit, my kit, my exosuit. This guy's the exosuit vendor, of course, so looking for S-Class stuff. Um, oh, I don't have the nanites, which means I did not claim my prize for having scanned all these guys here. Okay, now I have the nanites. 1700. Interested in him. I want a hyperdrive module, but I don't know if this guy has one. I would like an S class, but an A will do. And he does not have either one. Got a positron module. So it's going to be two hops. I don't know how far this thing will take me. C, C uh, class C. I do have some, some, uh, I do have some to sell him though. Let's see, we'll sell him that. You know what? Oh, sell him this as well, yeah. Remember that? I will buy the hyperdrive module just to see if it'll get us um, the rest of the way to the Atlas. That's a nice little piece of gear there. Um, okay, so let's just compare that with what we have. We have an A-class already. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to keep what I have. I'm just, uh, is there any tech here that could be very, very useful? Got that. Meh. Bolt caster ricochet module. That's a technology. It's not an upgrade. Everything else is standard. What do you got, mister? Oh, there's something else I wanted to do at the space station, of course. He's got no S-class modules. Okay, that answers that question. I um, wanted to change my appearance because, of course, this will not do. Not for me, anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the... Uh, I will stay with that. And, of course, my colors. or so oh it's the armor that's like that eh okay go with that that and that the armor I want to rather not have a gek armor well that's kind of cool that's like an Iron Man thing isn't it <laughs> right gloves same thing don't want the uh Don't want to get three fingered gloves. Leggings, leggings are fine, I guess. Boots, with these. Backpack, style, oh, trail. Oh, 
old style. I uh, get and a cape. You can put on a cape if you want. Um, I never use a cape, so let's just go with that. Banner is blue and teal, and we're done. Okay, let's get out of here. Do we have anything to sell? I'm sure we do because we scrapped the ship. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, that's the. Um, that's the C-Class uh, hyperdrive module, right. Um, let's move that here, let's put that here. There's two. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go there. 248. I think we just about doubled our range, but I'm not quite sure that's enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell those bits and pieces that we earned from scrapping that ship. We have 148,000 units right now, and we will end up with quite a lot more compressed indium scraps, AI valves, that and that, and now we have 40 million units. Okay, now we can go uh, comfortably to the, uh, the Atlas. Let me just make a save right here. Your save point, get it in and out of your ship. Uh, the game does save automatically as of a recent update. It's, it, it does uh, frequent automatic, uh, just uh, basic in-game saves, auto saves they call it. So worst comes to worst, you can probably go back to one of these uh, and, you know, um, Fix what, what, whatever got broke, I guess, in the end. Okay, so let's see if we can make it all the way over here. This is where the Atlas is. Answer is yes. So those two C-Class hyperdrive modules did the trick. And uh, I just, I'd, I'd rather do it at all, all in one hop rather than you know, dick around doing three or four hops. Um, so here we go. Here's the Atlas. A typical Atlas interface. Mouse is all over the pad here. <laughs> it's, uh, sometimes the ships, uh, for me anyway, are not easy to, uh, to maneuver. When aiming for a very small door, Let's see. Gotta go down and talk to the Atlas. We're on the middle pad, so we should... I've learned the Atlas word for Atlas. How nice. Now I'm gonna get some hyperdrive fuel here, I think. Yep, warp cell. Okay, here we go. Stand before the Atlas. It, it is unknowable. It cannot know me, it cannot know any of this, and yet I am compelled to be here. I offer it my own fledgling creation. The construct, present the construct parts. That's the head, right? Uh, the Atlas cannot react, does not react, is all noise, yet it is wordless. It voices the entire universe. An Atlas seed is revealed to me. I take my leave. So, hundred chromatic metal will get me this uh, seed of dreams. And uh, this milestone. So let's take a look at the milestones. This is the next one in the line. Seed of Dreams Warp Hypercore Plans, which basically means that I can now craft that Warp Hypercore. Yeah, that's awesome. So we're just gonna take our leave. We have to see if we can find some chromatic metal somewhere. Because, yeah, let's let's throw this some of the stuff on the starship. Because we really don't need it down here. Hundred chromatic metal. That's two hundred copper. So if I go like that. That here, let's drop that down to a 
200. And that will do itself in time. Uh, the objective here is forge the siege, seeds, seed of dreams. Um, complete the first, first pilgrimage, reach the first rendezvous point. Okay. And of course, to do that, we go into the galactic map again. Because the first rendezvous point is... Oh, this is going to take us a couple hops. Uh, unless... Unless I can go to the space station. Now the Atlas... See, this is the Atlas station here, right? That's the Atlas. There is a space station in this uh, star system as well, though. So, um, we can certainly go in there and check and see if they got... Uh, Oh, 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 oh. This is uh, one of those things, yeah? Hey, probe the structure, blah, blah, blah. It gave us a radiant shard. Nice. Okay. That's very nice of you, thank you. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is also a dissonant system. So we could easily go and find another uh, crash sentinel interceptor here. Let me just double check that. Uh, yep, dissonance, dissonance, uh, dissonance detected there, so, why is my screen flashing red? Reach the first rendezvous point, okay, that's my, uh, okay, I do have room for, uh, another hyperdrive upgrade, I'm just gonna see if there's one in here. And I will be looking at the tool as well. I uh, gotta look at the tool. Gotta look at the up upgrades here. 2100 nanites. Javelin scatter blaster. Mm. Hyperdrive. Let's get this. Hyperdrive upgrade. Would you? Could you? Pulse engine, positron A class. My goodness, there's a B class hyperdrive. That might put us over the top. And of course, we really need to. Uh, well, I have a penchant for uh, getting uh, the inventory slots as well. Okay, and this guy, movement upgrades would be nice. Oh, 2,000 nanites. Underwater protection. <sighs> okay. We're out of here. Let's just install that. It's a B-class, but uh, it will improve our drive range from 248 to 385. That might actually do it. And of course, this shard goes over here somewhere. What else do we have here? This stuff is kind of probably for sale at some point. Okay, now, here's a really nice ship. Uh, we were talking about this the other day. Um, this is very reminiscent of some of the Star Wars stuff, right? Yeah, is it TIE Fighters? But, and of course, there's a drone on the wing, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and I wonder where they got that from, right? C-Class Fighter, though. Not really interested in that. What I am interested in is uh, whether or not this guy has... It does not... Oh, wait. Chromatic Metal. Okay, we can make that. My nice cobalt we cannot make. Mm, that's also very useful. Um, right, dust. Wiring looms. Get those. Get a handful of these. Okay, I think we're good. 
just a few extra materials to help us on our way and uh, hopefully we can make it all the way to the rendezvous point with the current accoutrements we have on our um, hyperdrive so this stuff let's see this stuff can go here Yeah. Good stuff, all good stuff. Two four warp cells. <laughs> Silicate powder, aerite dust. Okay. Let's do a save right here. And let's batter. Let's see if we can make it all the way to the first rendezvous point and the answer is the answer is no out of jump range okay well I guess it's gonna take us a couple of jumps go here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run into the space station and see if I can get another hyperdrive um, upgrade because this, I, I just find this to be a bit of a chore. And now, of course, we have a f fighter, a space battle or something, a freighter battle, which is really a nuisance. I might have to take down these two guys here. See how that goes. I really want to know where the space station is, though. I'm going to have to take these two first two guys out, I think. They won't leave me alone otherwise. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you're not letting me shoot these guys. You're, you're making me shoot somebody that's way off. Way over there somewhere. Okay. So I guess I'm just going to have to make a run for this thing. And if you guys keep coming, you're going to be going to home in the box. Last warning. You, you're going home in a box. You keep that up. Yeah. I'm not interested in fighting that freighter's battles. So I'm looking for... Where the hell is it? There it is. Easy to get disoriented out here, right? Very, very easy. And of course now my shields are uh, are very low. Hopefully they will recharge themselves. Come on. Come on. Uppy, uppy. Anyway. Hyperdrive. I want, a, I want a larger hyperdrive. Of course, ideally, I want a better ship. to see how that goes. Of course, we're always interested in this thing. S-Class would be nice. That's got nothing I need. Scanner module, bolt caster module. Scanner. Okay, we'll take that. What have we got left? 1300, eh? That should be enough for a hyperdrive module if they got it. Photon cannon might also help. Launch thrusters. Jeez, it's some hard to get good help, isn't it? Rip drive. Here's an A class. We'll take these two. Alright, we got anything left? 531. We're gonna buy this thing. Fill up that last, uh, the sec last uh, column in the second row. And what do you got? Got movement. I don't have enough to buy an S-Class module probably now. Uh, nope. Underwater, life support, thermal protection. Okay, the A-Class. Movement. Okay. 
I know I, I never buy anything but S, but um, I'm just finding that I should probably do something to try and um, improve my lot here because So there's a photon cannon module, 137 to 139. Yeah, that's almost laughable, but it is what it is. There's my hyperdrive upgrade. This is going to be too many. I do want to see what it's going to give me. 199 light years. And these two give me 61 and 50. I'll remove this one. That one here. Now we got 564, so I think that's a little better than what we had. That's an improvement, I'm pretty sure. Put all this stuff over here. All the consumables, the materials, if you will. Um, okay, that's it for that, pretty much. I think we're good to go. Scanner. Uh, scanner's in the wrong place. Put that there, put that there. Hopefully that will... Oh shit, this scanner module didn't really boost up our things very much. Okay, anyway. You know what I'm going to do though. I'm going to move this somewhere else. I'm going to really kick up our uh, scanning capabilities. What do you got over there? Okay. Off we go. We should be able to make it to the first rendezvous, no problem now. We should probably be able to make it to subsequent rendezvous. Alright. Get our butts over there. Hello. Okay. There it is. Rendezvous number one. Um, also, oh, we can't do anything while we're in this uh, animation here. So, uh, we won't. <laughs> okay, rendezvous number one is here. And let's see, it's over this way. Little golden diamond there. Kind of a target in it. Um, okay, so we also wanted to make something. We also wanted to make this, right? That will also trigger. Good evening, Typo44. How are you, sir? Welcome to the stream. Um, as you can see, we are in the process of knocking out uh, Expedition 10 Singularity. We're just ending, uh, this is the end of phase one here pretty much. So um, in the next hour and a half probably I'm hoping to complete about half the expedition and then uh, take care of the other half on Thursday evening or my other th uh, No Man's Sky stream on Thursday. Um, so we do have uh, 100,000, 190,000 units, 5 gold nuggets, 5 gold nuggets, Supreme Hyperdrive Upgrade, there it is. Yeah, that's what we've been waiting for, right? Where is it? Right here, right? Now let's, uh, let's take this down. Let's put this here. That will help, I'm sure. Now, what are we looking at here? going on? Oh, we're way out in space. What the hell happened? I think we got pulled off course. Well, maybe not. Okay, rendezvous number one. All right, there's some, there's a base. Now, that's somebody's base right there. Um, now, if I can remember correctly, this rendezvous is not exactly easy to find. Or is it? <laughs> so there we go. Land to begin your search. We might actually be flying where we're going because I really don't like walking around on these planets because they are so mountainous. It's just a nightmare trying to navigate around here. 
So what we're going to do is just going to put this down quickly and kind of uh, try to identify where this thing is. Pretty sure it's another encampment, but um, so too weak, eh? Okay, so we have we have a number of things that we're going to scan here as well. Jesus, these things won't get out of the way. That's that. Any f yeah, those things good. Scan as much as possible so that we're not scrambling later. That this thing, yeah. over the hill here or something? What is that? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Five out of ten discovered in like two minutes. Four of these are underwater. They should be fairly easy to find if we can get some water. And then we have an uncommon underground. That might be a little trouble. Um, let me just grab a little bit of this stuff. Let's see. I'm gonna go over there and grab that too. Never know, you might get a might get a technology upgrade. Which could be useful. Try not to, you know, pick around too much, but um, nope, we got nanites. Okay, so let's just make sure our objective is pinned. Several mark rendezvous points, okay. So this one is Kind of west, eh? North, west, northwest, maybe. Which means kind of that way. I think maybe that guy is probably in the uh, rendezvous one. Okay, maybe that's the guy. I mean, that's that's one thing. Much as you can hate uh, people putting bases all over these planets, uh, every now and then you'll get somebody who will identify the rendezvous point with his base. But that's not ex that may not be what's going on there. We're just going to fly over it and see if that that's in fact what what's happening here. I'm talking about this guy here. So if this is a Sentinel encampment, oh, you know what? That's the base up there. Here's the Sentinel encampment. So uh, I think this may be what we're looking for. There's two bases here, actually. I don't know how. Looks like there's three bases, and I, I have no clue how these people can put their bases so close together. I thought you had to have a certain distance. Be, you know, your your base has a certain range, right? So there it is. Milestone complete, pilgrimage one, and that's the end of phase one, right there. Expedition phase completed. So, um, let's get our rewards here. Exosuit expansion slot, slot multi-tool expansion slot, pre-packaged paralysis, mortar, storage augmentations times three. Okay, let's get that out of our screen. And let's also get our posters and banners and whatnot for phase one. There they are. Um, and let's move on to phase two. If networking is off, you can put a base anywhere. Is that true, eh? Well, I guess that's what they're doing then. So, okay, so the obvious question, right? Uh, if network is off and you can put a base anywhere, why am I seeing everybody else's base? That's the that's the obvious question to me, right? I, I and in fact, I don't want to see everybody else's base. I don't want to see anybody else's base. I don't want to be see anybody else's com balls. It's just 
Um, it's just flack. It's just. Uh, I unplug your Ethernet. Very funny. <laughs> Okay, memory registers. Okay, 16, 5, and 11. 16, 5, and 11. Okay, 16, 5, and 11. Appliance access granted. Lift lockdown. Here we get our wings, right? Yeah. Uh, do we not get our wings? I don't care about the wings. I care about this. This and its spike. We get an A-class interceptor. I'm gonna scrap this solar in favor of that. Uh, obviously, obviously, we already have an A-class uh, multi-tool, so uh, let's just see what's in the box there. Yeah, that that would be uh, that would be a little a little more difficult. Yeah, and we have a B. Uh, this thing doesn't have anything I particularly want, so I'm gonna leave that there. Um, do we have any radiant shards close by, or any um, drills? Contrast is not very good. Let's just go over by the. Uh, right now. Median shards? How many of those do we have? Gold nuggets, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Get rid of that. Oh, is that right, eh? Incoming storm. Well, I'll be. I'm gonna leave that down here for now, just in case. Just in case. Suspicious packets. Yeah, gotta get rid of that. We only got one radiant shard. Don't have any um, mirrors, any inverted mirrors. So we're gonna have to get. Um, gonna have to get some of that. I think that my part of that statement can be dropped. No Ethernet means no stream, LOL. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much uh, a <laughs> foregone conclusion there, right? Oh, well, anyway. I mean, we'll... Un until until Hello Games decides that it's uh, it's no longer okay to make... Uh, to put bases all and, and all kinds of stuff all over the... Uh, all over the uh, expedition waypoints. Um, it's going to continue, right? People do it for various reasons. I don't, you know, whatever. It, I, I just find it more intrusive than anything else, right? Okay, so here is our interceptor. It is an A class. Okay, let's uh, let's dig this out. Look at this Walker brains. This thing gives us like ten Walker brains. Those are usually not very easy to find or get. Atlantidium, sure. Now we're gonna need a uh, an inverted mirror to well, fix this thing. Well, if you have thing. streaming on a separate machine, it can do stream and still be on set. Yeah, but the game system offline. It's okay with just the video out to the streaming system. Sure. We'll go with that. Okay, radiant. Holy crap. My, uh, my 
support is down a, a little bit. Let's go with some dioxide there. Uh, okay, what's this? Hard to tell what that was. Plasma luxury. That's what this is. Oh, paralysis mortar. Okay. Eh, plasma launcher. Isn't that the dangerous thing? Uh, potential upgrades. Um, yeah. oh, I don't know. I never used plasma launcher anyway. Maybe I'll install it and uh, remove it just for the components. These things come in handy though. Storm clearing. All right, what do we got over there? Radiant shards. Do we? Yes, I know. Okay. Ground's on fire. How nice, eh? I have to kind of fly over that. All right, my jack laser. That'll work, eh? Thrusters are empty. Dang it. Okay, I said something about water creatures too, didn't I? Yeah, even the ground under the water is on fire. Look at that. That's something. Okay, so we got fish here. We got fish over there. there. Huh? And we got crabs over here. Is that it? Nine out of ten. Underground is the last one. Okay. That's a, a nice 2500 nanites that we're gonna have to grab here shortly. Hopefully shortly. Uh, I'm just trying to get close enough to my ship to charge the uh, base right there. Charge the thrusters. Can I do that? Yeah, sure. And there's some up there. Why are you pointing me off in that direction when there's some right there? What the heck? Smarten up. Nice little base there, yeah. Couldn't find a door for your little Mud hut. There are three here, or is there just two? There's three here. Wow, and it's trying to push me off in that direction. I didn't like that. Didn't appreciate that very much. Let's get some sodium here. Never goes astray. And of course, this stuff. Atlantidium. Atlantidium. I don't know. If I ask more difficult, I assume. It's all good. Kind of used to it by now, right? You know, 10 expeditions in. People have been doing this since day one, so. Yeah, it is what it is. Ground. I don't 
don't see any caves here. That's the, the limit of our camera mode. Okay. Uh, so we are missing inverted mirror, right? Um, why am I not seeing any inverted mirrors? Pretty sure my networking is off, which would mean that most things should be everywhere. Not everywhere, obviously, but geez, more more abundant than this, I would think. I'm just gonna go. Six. Okay, so there's a milestone from another uh, phase. Pretty sure. No, it is phase two. Okay, prepackaged cloaking device, quad servo that we need later, and hazard protection upgrade. Okay, let's get rid of that. All right. It's hitting stuff on the ground and bouncing straight up. Hate it when that happens. There's another radiant shard. So I think this will become our go-to ship. This A-class uh, Sentinel Interceptor. Pretty sure it's going to be uh, kind of slightly more kick-ass than a C-class solar vessel. Might have to fly around looking for a drill. Yeah, I suspect I might. Radiant shard. How much of those we got now? Eight. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is... Um, down just a minute ago so here's a manufacturing facility that in itself won't have any drills but there's a monolith there that's probably the one we're going to end up going to um, there is a requirement to end uh, or to to destroy some uh, sentinels to some dissonant sentinels so that might be um, okay so here's a free parking lot right here minor settlement it's gonna scan around looking for a drill this is a bonus free parking Sources here. Where are all the drills? Wow. No freaking drills on this planet. What the hell? They can't all be getting taken out by other players. That that can't be true. Because that's not a good scene, boys. 
especially if I'm not in network mode. Okay, let's just get a few uh, little bonus items here. Let's see what's in here, if anything. Here's another hyperdrive module. Okay, get that. Salvage data. Get a few nanites out of here. Not many, but better than a kick in the pants. That's what I always say. Anything's better than a kick in the pants, right? Where's the darn building? Come on, where are ya? Okay. Okay, here we got carbon, carbon, multi-tool. Ooh, alien multi-tool. I'll be. S? Of course not. I also have an S-class mining beam, though. Uh, I got 40 million units. I could easily buy it. And then gear up that mining beam thing on my own multi-tool. There's a plan. Remove this. Where are we going to put it? <laughs> Our inventories are full, almost. Uh, geology cannon, that's just a dangerous thing that nobody wants. More nanites. Um... What does this guy got that I might be interested in? Heat protection module, maybe? Uh, rank 3 required. Well, I'll be. Uh, barrel ionizer? Sure, let's take that. I know it's not quite a bolt caster that I have. It's, uh, well, hang on now. Let's make sure we got this thing set up where we need it. Right there. So on that, yeah, what is it called? It's a bolt caster. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, um, cloaking device. Sure. I fix any of this? I can. This would be a good one to fix. Maybe not. It's not under any uh, supercharged slot. Unfortunately, I don't know where it is, so <sighs> it is what it is. Um, hazard protection module. Okay, let's put that here. Plasma launcher, analysis mortar, stuff I don't use. Maybe I should, but I don't. Um, okay. This stuff, quad servo, can go over here too. Apparently we need that, but... Nope, oh, right away. Okay, so we do have... We got a B. Okay, so we're going to have to remove this B-class module in favor of this A-class module. It will give us 172... to dismantle that for parts. These parts, specifically. Uh, got a few empty slots here. What's this? That's the mining beam, right? Um, This is my mining beam here. 
Let me throw that there. Okay, whatever. Uh, do I have anything for sale? Not really. Not with the wad of cash I've got in my stash. Oh, we're not in the, uh, we're not in the interceptor, that's right. We're still in the solar. We're looking for drills such that we can, uh, such that we can, uh, fetch that interceptor A-class. Then we're just going to have to transfer all the, uh, technology out of it. So if we were on a, um, if we were in a pirate system, destroying a, a drill would be an academic pursuit. Really, it would be very uh, simple. You just go up and shoot it from your ship. Uh, because we're not in a pirate system, uh, doing that will likely cause us to attract um, Sentinel interceptors, and I'm really not interested in doing that. I think I'm going to do what I did with the first one. Just get on the ground, get out of the ship, and uh, go ahead and uh, take that thing down. Dig a hole, of course, so I can get away. But I want to get... Uh, I don't want Sentinels to end me either, even, even though they are... There's one. Okay, um, now this is an abandoned building, but I'm going to land here anyway, and then I'm just going to walk down the hill and uh, drill my way back up, probably. There's our, our victim. He's got some radiant shards around him, so... May as well grab some of that on the way down. How much of that stuff do we have? 285. Not so bad. Radiant shard. Radiant shard. It's not a radiant shard. Okay, so... How close do we really need to be here? other things can we grab before we uh, eat this guy up and run. Let's see. This is probably close enough. The ship is over there. So let's um, go there. or at least get these guys to calm down. Now, did our 
Sentinel Interceptor is back that way, back that way. Okay, so I did see a monolith just over the rise here. Go ahead and uh, probe that. Should lead us right to it. saw but it is right here so we'll take it we'll take that fix the brain grab that ship and off we go Blah, 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 present brain, blah, 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 give me back the harmonic brain. Okay, may as well. Oh, this is a different life form, so uh, the first stone will always be a little bit more verbose than the rest of them. Okay, let's see, get that, um, more radiant shards, eh? Radiant shards are useful because they also, uh, they're also fuel for the, um, the Sentinel Interceptor. Believe it or not. <laughs> Bizarre as it sounds, that is true. Okay, let's go down and grab that ship. One last thing I'm going to do before I move on is go up to the space station and uh, sell this ship. Oh, obviously, that's the, I think that was the minor settlement we were at. Just right there. Um, I'm going to need to transfer the contents of the inventory on this ship to the new one. We got a 2513, 3927, with lots of room on that one for everything we have. Let's go ahead and do that then. And we'll do this first, of course. We'll claim this new interceptor, and then we will start transferring all the bits and pieces. Uh, look at that. How come I'm seeing all these other players? I really don't get it. Because, um... Uh, not network mode. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Don't understand. How much of this stuff can we move over? All in one fell swoop. Uh... that. Never noticed if that one was there. Didn't notice if that one was there either. Okay, so we need to know if the rocket launcher, the teleport receiver... Oh, I have anything else. Okay. Stuff we're gonna need. I mean, it's not the best, but you know what? It'll do in a pinch. We will no longer have any issues. Okay, rocket launcher and teleport receiver. And of course, all this other stuff. Whoop. It's going to go over there. Actually, tritium. <sighs> don't. Uh, I don't think the ship uses tritium as fuel, but we'll, uh, we'll send it over anyway. that over there. We need to transfer all this stuff because uh, we're getting 
we're dumping that solar. So, okay, let's um, start here, 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 this, 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 and this, this, this. This, this. Hopefully this will be the last trip. Maybe not. Eleven? Well, maybe it is. this thing? Plasma launcher. There we go. This ship is now clean, right? Oh yeah, these two things. Rocket launcher and teleport receiver. I wanted to know if that was over here as well, right? So let's see. Teleport receiver is here. Uh, that's this thing, not the rocket launcher. I don't like that. So we're gonna do this with the shields. We're going to do this with the cannon. And we're going to do this with the... Keys, Marty Keys. This with the hyperdrive. 816 light years with no add-ons to the hyperdrive. That's just madness. Pilot interface, that, that. Okay, photon cannon. It's already pretty powerful. That ship is embedded in the rock cliff. It is. But it's gonna it's gonna release itself, trust me. <laughs> uh, so a thousand light years now we got. Awesome. That down here. Um, thousand, thirteen hundred, fifteen hundred light years. That's more than I will ever need, I think, on this expedition. Here's the fuel, here's the fuel. Don't think this is fuel, though. This is the launch thruster. It's fueled by pugnium, pugnium, this stuff. Pulse drive, tritium, and radiant shards. Okay, so it is fueled by this stuff. Awesome. Okay. I don't have the rocket launcher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle this guy. Put the pieces over here. Oh. Dang, damn it. Didn't empty it out. Did not empty out my exosuit. Uh, shite. What? Wait, what? Gotta get in this thing, I guess, eh? Yeah, okay. My bad. Put that there. Put that here. Silver next to it. What else is going over there? This, 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 this is for sale. I'm gonna put, ah, crap. I don't wanna move that over exactly. Um, that's good. Okay. So that goes here. it over on the other ship. How many empty spots do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, <laughs> just thinking that's probably enough to, uh, to, uh, scrap that solar, but you know what, let's just, uh, let's just push over some of the rest of the stuff here. 
Uh, actually, I think that's pretty much it. I think that will do. Oh, I'm gonna push that over to this. Yeah, not likely to use that, so push that over. Okay, back to the space station. Uh, first, what is our next? Reach a second rendezvous point. Okay, so we gotta go up in space into our galactic map, track down the next rendezvous point and get over there. But first, let's just uh, scrap this ship and be done with it. I'm sick of it. Pretty sure we don't actually need this particular ship. Victor Fry Starship. What the hell am I looking at that for? Somebody got a freighter in this uh, in this system. Sorry, that's not Victor Fry. That's Victor Fire. And I still don't know what it's doing there in front of the uh, space station. See, Victor Fire. I certainly hope that's not where my navigation system is taking me because uh, that's not where uh, that's not what I got tagged there. I got the space station tag, so it should be taking me to the space station. Fantastic. Fantastic. There we go. Alright, so two minutes to do this. And then we can get out of here. Another solar. There's a nice little fighter, somebody. Okay, so explain to me why there's other players going on here when I'm not in network mode. I, I'm almost sure I looked at that earlier and it's disabled. EVP, let's take that off just in case some fool thinks I'm an open target for assassination. Three million for this cell solar. We'll take it. Was I already here? I was not here. Okay. Um. Great exosuit. Yeah, sure. How much are these costing me? A thousand, eh? Now we have some upgrades too, right? Let's put one there. And then, uh. Couple down here. Do you have any movement modules that are worthy of my nanites? I don't even think I have any nanites. I got 185. It's too bad. He doesn't have any anyway. Okay, that's a waste of time. Uh, okay, so we do have that, eh? We got an awful lot of room up in our tech tech area, so you know what? What did I press that button for? This is the one I wanted to press right here. Because <laughs> I got a couple of augmentations, right? One. Is that it? One storage augmentation? Okay. Uh, let's put it here. Oh, I got more than one, yeah. Two. I think it's three I got. I got three for the uh, device as well. Just wondering if this guy, what this guy has. Now I didn't scan all the creatures in that uh, on that planet. I, I think I missed the underground one. That would have gave me uh, quite a bit of uh, help in the uh, in the nanite department. So this is useless junk. And we do have some of that. You're probably wondering, what are you, uh, what are you installing those for? Well, I'd rather install these and have to fix the other ones. Navigation data. Or we'll take a bit of that. So there's our ship. And um, I 
think. Oh wait, now we didn't sell our uh, uh, we didn't sell our C-class modules that we got from the solar. Maybe that'll get us uh, pulse engine upgrade. We'll sell that, 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 and that. And we have 436, so we do not have enough for an S-class upgrade. Fine. No worries. There's a barrel, barrel nose fighter. That's a nice one. I like that one. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's um, let's move this stuff around. see it. Shields could stand some upgrading. I think I took some shielding off. thought I took some shielding off the other ship. But What's this? Subatomic regulators. That's junk that we need to uh, sail. I guess the other ship didn't have a whole lot of shielding, did it? Uh, purchase all scrap. We're going to sell the stuff worth about 3 million units, right? This and this. And I think that's it for this star system. Our ship. Shields would definitely be um, a big improvement on this ship. Okay, there's the save point, and off we go to the rendezvous. This looks a bit like a minivan with some fancy, uh, fancy doodads. Okay, let's go here, here. I'm, I'm certain we have enough to make it to the next rendezvous enough range 1500 light years or something that that's a lot of range <laughs> well it's not maximum but it's quite a bit okay and our target is oh no it's down here I was looking at the compass. Compass will give you an idea of lateral direction, but it won't. Uh, it's not an exact uh, positional marker. Now, there's other things on the map on the on the planet here that are probably going to draw my navigation system's attention. Let me live space. Let me live. Oh, let me live, please. Okay. So, point of... Uh, I'm going to skip the object of interest. Yeah, look, see? I'm going for somebody else's save beacon. So, here's what I should have done the last time. I should have uh, entered the... Um, the hailing frequency... Um, menu, rather than pressing my mouse button to shoot. So, uh, nothing here. Okay, get out of my face. Thank you. Yeah, I'm seeing other players here. I don't quite understand why. Where is the rendezvous? Where's the rendezvous point? I lost it. Okay, did my thing get unpinned? No? Rock rendezvous points, there you go. Oh, okay, so there's the approximate location. And the rendezvous point is... I'm thinking one of these guys has a base on it. Is that it? I think it 
is. Get it. Why am I seeing other players? I am not in network mode. That is just truly bizarre. Um, let me just triple check that, but you know what? I guess uh, possible that they're forcing everybody into network mode to force them to do the community. Uh, Community expedition, a uh, community. Um, sorry, milestone. Uh, let's probe the registers. So seven, thirteen, and two. Seven, thirteen, and two. So we're gonna dial that in here. Seven. Thirteen. And two. This thing should give me the second part of our construct. Probably the limbs or the core or something, I'm not sure exactly yet. It's the limbs. Okay. Obviously, we gotta make the limbs. Now, these guys are taking all this stuff, right? Uh, what's in here? That's gone. Uh, you know what? I don't need anything else here. I don't need a ship or anything else. So I'm just gonna beat it as soon as I can figure out what I need to make. Um, this thing, three carbon nanotubes. I got lots of carbon, so there you go. All right, we got that done. That should be two. Reach the base computer, eh? Okay. A uh, thousand nanites, nice. Base computer, salvage data 24. Wow, nice. Um, yeah, that is nice. Uh, what about this thing? Build that, yeah, that's done. Lubricant, yeah, physium and gamma root. Oh yeah, that stuff. Ah! Uh, Okay, let's get that out of our face. What's next? Extract radiant shards. So we've got 10 already. We got this. What was that? Assemble the second construct part. Yeah, we did that. Okay. So this thing is moving right along. Um, we have one thing over here as well. Uh, Cluster horde. What was that? Verifying sample. What was that for? I don't even remember what that was for. Um, four and five are blank, of course. Sixteen radiant shards. Commune with the atlas again. Seed power. Okay, so these three things will come uh, in very short order here, hopefully. How many animals we got here? 11. Ground, 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 flying, flying. Somebody's base up there. Just gonna go up here in case there's a, uh, a predator underground. Not interested in getting eaten. Not interested in being eaten. Okay, so this... This is a distant planet, but you know what? I'm gonna go... I'm 
going to go down in the valley to get my radiant shards, my remaining six radiant shards. There should be a... Uh, oh, what's that? Okay, so there's these things going on too. Couple here. I'd like to see if I can get a spot where there's a cluster or several clusters of them. I can't shoot them from my ship. I can shoot the smaller ones. The Atlantidium shards. These guys I cannot shoot from this ship though. Uh, you know what? I think this might be a half decent location though. Just put it down here. I think there's some back here. A couple here, three looks like. Scooting along on the ground. See something else? I did. A couple of birds. Hey. Uh, shards, eh? My pulse engine or launch. Let's try something here. Okay, I can call it in. Okay. So let's go over on the other side where the spider is not. And I'm going to take this to make that 16. And then I'm going to go. Oh, get out of my face. Gray manipulator. This is going to be my escape route. Right over this way. Um, gonna get my bolt caster on. Oh shit! Exactly who I don't want to see. I 
not uh, I'm not hidden well enough. Obviously. I need to get down where they can't uh, they can't find me. There we go. Ooh, they almost killed me. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, subside, please. A subsider? Are they still looking? Huh? Yeah, that's not good. Radeon video editor, eh? That sucks, man. I've I've tried several uh, several uh, editing packages. It's, it's hard to get a good one. I think I got them all. 2700 nanites, perfect. Okay, let's get in here. So we don't freeze to death. Let's get uh, this back up. Let's get rid of that, because if we get busted with that, it's over. That's an upgrade. Let's put that here. Inferred, inverted mirror. Need to save more often? Yeah, that's that's the magic rule, isn't it, for IT, isn't it? Save, save, save. Kind of sad that, you know, shit like that happens, but... Well, I guess... Some things never change, right? Okay, so the auto-charger is this guy, right? Asmat Gauntlet. Okay, I thought I might be getting that at some point. Sentinel Exosuit Fragment. Okay, that's This not... is why I do all my crap live. I can handle system failures in a live stream, but lost things means starting over. If you lose the recordings, yes. If you lose it from a certain point... It's probably not as painful, but yeah, if certainly if you if you lose the whole thing, yeah, that's nasty for sure. I feel for you. I uh, I, w I worked in IT for jeez almost thirty years, so um, I'm familiar with that shit. Trust me. Right on down from the uh, the corporate all the way down, right. Everybody has a story of, oh, where's my stuff? My system crashed. Can you get it back? Blah, blah, blah. Of course, I'm the guy in the spot, right? Because I'm IT, right? Hi, Paul. That's the weird thing. Reporting despite saves are not being retained. I think it's because I have the file open when the program crashes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced of that, Rob, but yeah, it's po I guess it's possible. I don't, I don't know. If you do a save as and give it a particular name. I was a systems programmer. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see. Where are we going now? We got the radiant shards. So 
So we get our... Oh, what did we get? Oh, gee whiz. Got a bunch of stuff. Now, okay, so that goes up here. Uh, this goes pre-packaged optical drill. So let's put put all this business down here. Let's put our bolt caster. 1700 damage potential. Boom! Yep. Just. I hate programs that corrupt your save files. It's the Radian oh. video editor. I should just buy the bullet and buy one, but I'm on a fixed income and trying to keep my budget for hardware and games. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very much, uh, where do you put your, uh, where, where do you put your, uh, your resources, right? I have the same kind of issues. I'm on a fixed, uh, fixed pension too. And, it's not easy sometimes to kind of distribute uh, or figure out how to distribute things adequately because that's yeah. happening you got to make offline backups yeah usb stick yeah probably the best thing to do best thing to use but again you know, not always easy to be thinking about everything like that all the time, right? Land on the derelict freighter. What? Commune with the Atlas. Just a minute. What? Lost in space. No, no, no. I want to commune with the Atlas. Don't make me land on a derelict freighter, please. That's not part of the expedition. All right, uh, commune with the Atlas. Okay, so we should have enough fuel. Uh, maybe we don't have enough fuel, but we should definitely have enough range to get here. Yeah, looks like we do. You can set some alarm to go off every hour or an hour to remind you to make another backup. Yeah, you know the good softwares have uh, have auto backups, right? I I wouldn't necessarily consider that to be, you know, criteria for a, a good software, but I'm a hardware I, guy. It, it helps. Software is still a maze to me. I can track a faulty capacitor or logic gate, but software bugs will always look at me. I am saving for another drive so I have room for more saves. Yeah, I, uh, in all my time in the IT, uh, auto backups are great if the software is correctly saves. Yeah, that is true. It's hard to say how to handle a situation like that, you know, without being on the spot and um, you know, seeing what's actually going on and stuff. Okay. Object in use. Uh, are you gonna just stand in my way there, you bonehead? I fixed radar for the army. Hardware is predictable. Software gets skishy. Got a lot thumb drives. Cheap and effective. Yeah, I, um, there's. <laughs> They're shady hardware too, right? So, you know, although I, I have to admit, I think most of my, um, 
most of my problems have have been due to software issues. Okay, what do we got going on here? We did get a mining beam, eh? Where's my cloaking device? No. There. Now, sorry. I have a line on a 2TB M.2 drive for my system that will be less than $100, but it takes me about three months to save that amount. thing now. There you go. Alright. Seed of power. We have the seed of power. And phase two is now complete. Okay. So, um, let's get in here. Let's grab Line our... Some drives per month and save money. I'm also trying to get a CPU and GPU upgrade before Starfield gets released. I might have to sell my arse on the street corner at this rate, LOL. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that would not be a good situation for me. I would not get much from my arse on the street corner. <laughs> uh, neutron cannon, eh? Yeah, okay. These two is complete. Okay, there's the uh, trail customization. Well, and... Starfield will wait for you. Yeah, for sure, absolutely right. I'm I'm not convinced about Starfield yet. I'm I'm uh, I'm not an early adopter of anything, so I'm gonna wait and see how that. Uh, uh, wait, t wait till they work out the wrinkles, I think, is probably the right, uh, how I would say it. True story. Yeah, I'm sure that game's not going to be cheap, though. So I, it's probably going to be out of my range. Somebody was saying, uh, No Man's Sky is on sale again. I admit Starfield looks good if you buy the promo hype. Hmm. Okay, reach the third rendezvous point. Um, what is this one? Okay, the auto phage. Okay. And this one, eliminate corrupt sentinels. Okay, that's going to be, yeah, I'm going to need to boost up my uh, exosuit for that so they don't finish me off like they almost did the last time. Sample the third construct, community atlas, forge the third atlas. I don't seed. need a big upgrade on my seat, but my GPU might need a kick. Well, that game has been in development for a couple of years now, at least, so I'm sure you don't need like a 4080 or a 4090 to uh, to run the game, right? That would be absurd. At RP Games, well, you know, the first two months will just be debugging. Let's see if I can do one or two more objectives in phase three here, and then we'll call it. Probably going to be another 20 or 30 minutes. We'll get to the rendezvous point here in a minute. If I can find it, it'll be over here, I guess. Um, should I go to the space station? Grab a few things. If I want to stream Starfield on release, I do, and make it look good to view. 
I do. I need to have higher GPU capabilities than my current system can handle. Yeah. Are you are you a couple of generations behind there, Rob? Or oh, I guess you're on. Are you on console? Save beacons. Look, going to crystal sulfide and gamma weed. Uh, I'm still running a Radian 580X8GB for my GPU. Okay, so you you yeah you you are several several generations. Uh, 580. What are they up to now? 7800. Something like that. Radeon 7800. 6878, something like that. Okay, so the rendezvous point is... Um, I think it's over here somewhere. This guy's walking to it. Look at that. Way to go, bud. You, you, you troop on there. Range. Yeah. That is an advantage, actually. Okay, so there's the archive. The model numbers are so big. Is it? I yeah. I think I have a 9,600 on one machine. I think this is what I'm looking for here. Yep. Okay. But... There's nothing. Okay. We're going to do this again. Probe the damaged registers. 2, 8, and 13. Two, eight, and 13. Okay. We should get the third part of our... Uh, Construct here. There it is, the shell. Oh, I see. What do we got? That thing is still there. Okay, awesome. Let's see. I'm going to just locate the distance spike just for shits and giggles. See what kind of ship we got going on. Because that's what this thing is doing it's finding a crashed interceptor. Right over there. Somebody's obviously uh, been there before, but maybe it'll still be there for me as well. Remove the seal. Um, okay, terminal ceased its digital waiting permit to access. Okay, so why? Okay, I, I, I missed part of the menu here. Oh, somebody already removed it. Okay. So I should be able to just look at this thing, right? It's a C-class. I'm just going to leave it right where it is. Oh, yeah, this planet has really cool storms. 
Um, well, cool, but blinding. So these, this is an anti-gravity storm. And uh, when you use your jetpack on this thing, you can go f and go and go and go. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, yeah, I really like this ship, the look of it, but um, I think it's it's a C-class. I'm, I'm not even going to bother with that. Okay, it's not part of the objectives anyway. Uh, let me just uh, have a look at the objectives, and we're here. We got that done because we're at the third rendezvous. Thousand nanites, exosuit expansion, storage augmentations, good, awesome. And what else? Um, the will to exist, that's for extracting the shell. We're getting the this thing. Magnetized ferret, crystal sulfide, and life support gel. Okay. So, assemble a third construct. Okay. Oh, nice movement modules. You give me movement modules on this planet. I really don't need them on this planet. Because this planet? Yeah. <laughs> This planet is pretty cool for moving around. Uh, you know what, let's put this stuff on the starship. Out of our way. And, what is this? Voltaic amplifier. I'm not sure what that does exactly. Um, It's not buffing that thing. Where's my bolt caster? Oh, there it is. No, it's not buffing that. I don't know what it's doing. Okay. There's the augmentations. Exosuit expansion slots. There's my starship expansion slots. Here they are. Okay. We don't have any of this stuff. Life support gel might not be such a tall order. Two dihydrogen jelly. So make that. Make that. We got one of the things. Crystal sulfide is in the water. Magnetized ferrite times. Um, one hundred and seventy one. We don't have nearly enough resources for that. You have to find some. Where is the archive? Never find it now, right? What's this over here? One's base. Oh, no, that is the archive. Might be able to buy some of this stuff at, at the archive here. I'm going to try to land on one of the top beds. I just hate landing on the other ones. Nope, didn't want to. It's not, uh, for some reason, not letting me land. Let go of my ship, thank you. You bastard! Model numbers are not consistent with the companies, let alone the. Editors. Yeah, there's quite a bit of a kerfuffle about the uh, 4070, eh? the RTX 4070 from NVIDIA. A lot of people are uh, wondering what the hell NVIDIA is doing lately. Okay. Oh, look, somebody got a base around here and have decided to uh, put a little terrarium in, in the middle of the archive. How nice. Uh, okay, chromatic metal, rusted metal. It's only 50 ferrite dust, that's not going to be enough. Is this a water planet? 
Ground, 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 flying, flying. Yes, it is water. Okay. Well, I guess we should bring this thing over near the water. We're gonna get crystal sulfide. We're gonna need to go near water. Doesn't have to be a very big body of water. This will be more than big enough, I'm sure. Let's put it down right here. Should be some not too far. some right there. I don't know if I can get it all this stuff though. Because it's buried in the bedrock. Yeah, look at that. What the hell? Oh, and now it's going to blow. Dang. Uh, that's something, eh? What a bunch of shysters. Vega, though. I heard good things about Vega. Where's my boat? There it is. Time to get out of the water. Get up there, get up there. Yes, they sell more than people do not understand. Yeah, it's hype, eh? A lot of hype involved. <laughs> uh, okay, so what else am I missing? 210 magnetized ferrite. That eh? seems to be the case, ship. There you go. Angry predator going at me here. So what I should do is just get up here. Currently my card is still listed as a valuable GPU. Though modern games are quickly making that rating a lie. Why don't you go over and eat those things? Look, there's a whole bunch of them over there. Hey, how are we doing for animals? Six out of nine, eh? Round, flying, flying. Okay, one is always active, so he should probably be up there. Oh, oh yes, there's one. Round, flying, join the day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put you down. Because, uh, you are just, uh, just a nasty piece of work. Sorry about that, but. I, I can't, I can't, uh, can't have a predator on my butt. I'm trying to harvest some stuff. Your fear right, yeah. Your fear right, good, good, good. Your fear right. That your fear right? No, oh, that's just a hill. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, what should I get? 
think that might actually be enough. Okay. I think we got enough. What just happened? Ran out of gas? No, nope, still going. Um, okay, so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get that, and then we're gonna travel to the Atlas. Nineteen corrupt sentinels, eh? I um, I, I want to show you the effect of this storm. It's really cool. <laughs> I just want to uh, find a place to land first. Lots of bases, so. We'll have uh, landing pads at their bases, right? Okay, we'll land back at the archive, that's fine. Automated, automated, land, initiating, land, automated landing sequence. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay, so the storm. The storm does not have any... Um, negative effects in terms of... Uh, uh, hazards because you don't see any bars on the bottom left of my screen where the hazard is hazard protection is being eroded what the storm does oh there's the last last creature right there is that the last one no on oh, the day flying one what the dorm is the uh, the anti uh, gravity storm does though is it allows you to go way up with your jetpack and of course because I have a recharging jetpack I can just go on and on and on right and of course you can, uh, you can change direction in mid-flight and uh, you can also scan in mid-flight which is another uh, quite interesting uh, aspect of all this Let's go over there where there's a uh, couple of radiant shards. I, I, I don't know if I can shoot from the air. I think I can actually, because I'm pretty sure I was shooting from the air the other day. Mining laser. Yeah, look at that. You can harvest things from the air while going around in your jetpack. have to give it to be on the ground. This is just stuff we would never have conceived of 40 years ago in gaming, right? Not that I was a gaming programmer, but played a few games, you know. There weren't a whole lot of games available, let's just say. When I first started uh, playing a few games, they were very, very rudimentary, mostly. The best ones were at the archives. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the idea with the storm. I thought that was pretty cool when I first saw that. So magnetized ferrite. Do we have 210? We do. Okay, so we can do this now, right? Awesome. So we got those three parts. Got those expansion slots. We're, um, we're going to go... We're going to go to the Atlas, and then I'm pretty much... Uh, pretty much going to call it there. For tonight and um, Thursday will uh, probably get as far as we can get on Thursday we'll see because um, f uh, milestone 3 of phase 5 there's a bit of a lock on it um, they're call I think they're calling it a um, wait a second that's not where I want to go there. Okay. Uh, commune with the Atlas. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Why were you taking me over there? Hey, okay, so there should be an Atlas thingy. Thanks, Marty. Hey, you're welcome, Rob, and thank you for uh for joining in. That was awesome. Um. Appreciate your viewership, absolutely, 100% all the way. 
Um, what are you streaming? Uh, what are you streaming tomorrow, Rob? Wednesday tomorrow, right? Oh, you're down. Are you down? I'm just wondering, you're, the general tone of your conversation this evening almost suggests that you're, uh, you're offline. Right? Sea of Thieves, oh, oh, at noon, eh? Noon Pacific is 3 p.m. Uh, I, I'll, I'll likely be able to catch the, uh, the tail end of that. You, go, you usually go for three or four hours, right? So yeah, I'll, I'll be able to catch, uh, Probably an hour or two of that after, for sure. I'm do I'm doing uh, the second part of my um, this thing on on Twitch tomorrow, so uh, I should pack up Twitch. Though I'm not getting a whole lot of viewership. Usually four hours. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you have much more stamina than I do. <laughs> So we'll just uh, grab this thing here, which is another seed, I guess. And, um, yeah. Okay, there it is, seed of will. I do have all the parts to make this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that right now. And I think what it does is it, uh, it replaces the uh, seed of power. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, um... That's pretty much going to do it for this evening. I think we'll be in good shape to uh, to do most of the rest of what we can do on Thursday. And uh, with any luck at all, we will... Um, we'll be able to probably close out the expedition on Thursday. That's, um, of course, that's just assuming that um, the... Um, the third milestone in phase five is unlocked. I think it was like at 65% today when I looked at it. So it might be unlocked by Thursday. Might already be unlocked for all I know. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to park my, uh, my thing in here and then uh, we'll call it right there. Oh, we're going to get another... Uh, Dissonant uh, interaction here. Dissonant encounter. Another radiant shard. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we're 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 pretty much over halfway done this thing, I think. So um, if things go well on Thursday, we might be able to close it out. Okay, well, uh, our Rob, uh, Typo44, uh, and whoever else is watching there, we have a few uh, few other uh, users, or uh, viewers, I should say, who are choosing to remain silent. That's okay, that's all good. Uh, let it be known that I appreciate your viewership. Um, 100 subscribers, if you haven't subscribed, or uh, punch the like button, by all means, uh, it's free for you, so... Hey, why not, right? And uh, on that note, I would like to thank you again. Uh, let, let me just uh, let me just put that there, and I can do this, right? Thanks very much for watching, and uh, you people take care. All right, have a good night, everybody.